What's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube? Guess what? It is what? Soulful Sunday. It is Sunday, and I will show you guys what I'm cooking for Sunday dinner. You see that beautiful chunk roasted over there? I got two. Got some carrots, some onions, and um, peppers, and all of my little seasons. Yes, Soulful Tea seasoning. Soulful Tea flour is back, y'all. Soulful Tea flour is back. And you go, go to Soulful Tea LLC, get your flour. Only the flour original and grandma jackson 25 minutes is back but we take a step by step but everything will come back you know the holidays are coming but we take a week by week but right now your silver tea original flour grandma jackson 25 mix is ready and guys we are making a pot roast sunday dinner before we get started so squad hit that intro <music> Okay guys, I got my onion right here. We're gonna chop this onion up. And then we're gonna chop up our peppers. We're gonna rinse off our carrots. The meat has already been clean. I done rinsed the meat off and everything. So we're just gonna chop our onions up. I do big onions on my food when I do like um turkey wings and chicken and stuff because y'all know I'm not an onion person but I will cook with onions to make everything flavorful honey because you can't, you can't beat a good um good flavorful food you really can't and if you're a cook you know onion do it for you that back there and then this is not the knife I wanted I got the reveal coming soon y'all to all my birthday presents um end of the day is Sunday I'm talking a little better I have an issue going on that I go to dentist with and I want to be able to talk if I talk too long everything starts my mouth start hurting so right now, I can, um, I took my pills, pain pill, so I could talk, but my ear be hurting. Y'all, it's a whole hot mess. But I haven't opened that one single gift up yet. Not one. But that's okay. It's coming. And thank you guys so much. Because I wanted to do it live. Yeah, I'm just cutting up my vegetables. Go there. I'm only using this one green pepper. Even though I have two more. Y'all, it's not, it's fall. When I say fall had kicked there, fall has kicked there, honey. It's back to Sunday. Done it's cooking time. Couldn't do all that in the summertime. All that heat. Mm-mm. No central air house. It wasn't happening. But this knife is, oh, ain't no good. It's Monday. When you guys get in this video, but let me know what did you guys eat for y'all Sunday dinner? Did you go out? Did you go to church? Did you have supper at church? Did you have a good meal waiting on you when you came back from church? All right, then my vegetables. This is my meat. Let's move down because get the full out. Ooh, we're gonna get this meat. Nice and seasoned, y'all. And there's two ways we're going to season this meat. Okay. So. I 
And these are chuck roasts. Look at that. Let me go wash my hands real quick. Uh, y'all, let's season our meat. I do not like roast bone and roast. Always get a nice chuck roast. Some meat tenderizer. So complete. And a little bit of seasoning all. Uh, my mama will come after me if I don't just use a tiny bit. Okay. We're gonna flip. And we're gonna do the same thing. Remember, you gotta season both sides of your meat. <clears throat> and for the gravy, I'll be using some of my sofa tea seasoned flour. Even though I'm using my seasoned flour on this, I'm still seasoning the meat because this is a thick chunk of beef. Even though my flour is well seasoned, you just want to make sure that everything is in there that it needs to be. Now, let's get that silver tea seasoned flour on there. That's what that gravy. Okay, guys. I'm going to put in with my silver tea seasoned flour. This one not labeled, y'all. You know, I'll be having the extras I'll be using for myself. But my extra ones, I'm going to start using for my um, free samples. I'm going to be giving away on the streets. And what you want to do... Because this is all about... this For me, this is about making that perfect gravy. So what you want to do is take your hands and you just want to rub in the flour. Rub in the flour. Just like that. This is going to help produce and make that beautiful gravy. And we're going to flip it over. And it's just giving it that extra level of season as well. Just because, again... This is a thick piece of roast beef. And even though my flour is well seasoned, I still season that roast beef. And this is more so just to help with the, um, look at that. They help with that gravy. I think I got some chicken broth around here. Put them a four on here. It's not even gonna take a lot of chicken broth, y'all. Not even a lot. And then from there, we just wanna go ahead and throw in your onions, all this is going to be a little fold up. Throw in your onions and peppers just all over here. And it's, the, it's going to flavor. Huh. Roast beef on the Sunday. And not using the crock pot because I got a, a, a pressure cooker and all that stuff. I don't want to pull none of that stuff out. I'd have had all that stuff. It got stuff got broken and messed up and things like that. Let me wash my hands, my carrots or even rinse, and we can get our tickle the carrots. Yeah. And I'll put some lumen foil on here and it's going in the oven. I'm gonna mix these carrots up, pull some of these onions and stuff up. I'll put some lumen foil on here, add some beef broth to here. And we just gonna let it cook, y'all. And all these no potatoes in here, cause I'm making homemade mashed potatoes, peas, and corn. But y'all get in the roast first. In the oven it go. After we put the little foil on it. And so right, guys, I didn't have no beef broth, but I found some chicken broth. And I just want something with flavor. So this is what I'm gonna use. Cause this is gonna make its own flavor. And they looking at football, you hear some screaming. I'm going in with some little foil. And this is going to the oven on 300. 
And I'm slow cooking this, y'all. It's early. It's early. I'm gonna say it's about it's about 11 a.m. So I'm slow cooking this. I gotta go 300, and I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna I'm gonna do a quick. I probably flip it after two hours of cooking. Then I'm gonna go in and flip it over. But I'm gonna let it cook for two hours, and I'm putting it on a cookie sheet in case some of these juices overflow. But it's gonna cook for two hours in the oven, guys, on 300. And then I'm gonna flip it and let it cook another two hours or 300. But this thing will be what the beast. And I'm gonna cut up some um, potatoes. And just the veggies today, since I got the carrots and the onions and the green peppers, the veggies today is simple. We going in with some um, good old um, cheese and corn. Was my mom's favorite, and my kids said, "Oh man, yeah, these are going a long time. Something simple." Cause I feel like doing cabbage or string beans or collard greens. So look at that, wrap nice and tight, put it on a cookie sheet, and on for 300. When I come and flip it after two hours, that's what I'm gonna put my um potatoes on and my peas on. So I'm gonna let this cook for two hours, then I'm gonna put my potatoes and peas on. All right, guys, see you there. Okay, Soul Squad, it's been two hours. I'm putting my potatoes on. It's about eight potatoes. No, 10. I'm adding some salt. And adding in some garlic, mixed garlic. Like a tablespoon, and that's it. Gonna let it boil. Get my pan out for my piece of corn. Okay, guys, look at this roast. It's been two hours. Look at the luscious gravy that it's making. Look at that. And like I told you, after two hours, I'm not using my crock pot or my um. What's that thing called? Oh my goodness! How my flavor between my flour and my um. Seasoning, nothing but flavor. And like I said, I let it cook for two hours. Then I flip it. Just because this meat is thick. And what I'm going to do, see the gravy is making? That's coming from the flour. Okay. We're going to cover it back up and let it cook for two more hours. But it'll be ready. All right, guys, my mash is ready. I'm going in with the butter. A stick of butter and I like to put in my minced garlic just so that it could start melting because you know the, the potatoes are so hot and it's just gonna melt into um the potato I cook them into they fall tender y'all they fall apart because we're not making um potato salad we're making homemade mashed potatoes a little bit soft just a little a little goes a long way and you know and a little bit just to um a little bit first and a lot later you know what i'm saying all right we got some sour cream because we'll smash potatoes without sour cream butter all the stuff that everybody said nope tell you what you don't find this, you won't find this in the um, box mashed potatoes, I'll tell you that much. Last and not least, room temperature, cream cheese. Let me get my um, masher and we'll be back. So guys, what I'm gonna do, put the phone down, just pull it for me, Jackson, is that everything is melting up together. The sour cream, just a little bit. I don't use but a little bit of milk. Go ahead, some more. That's enough. And we got some homemade mashed potatoes, y'all. I don't know about y'all. Y'all like a little bit lumps for y'all. How you like it? I like it thick. The butter is in there. Make sure you taste it. Yes, you're going to hear noise. If you got an immersion blender, you can use that. I'll go in. But a little bit of parsley flakes. Just the color. Not a whole lot. 
Wait, what's that green stuff in my mashed potato? Y'all, that's my signature. Y'all know I saw you too. Like, Miss T, you can. Yes, I put pasta plate on everything. And these are homemade. They look how thick they are. Let me taste it. Mmm. Ooh, you can taste the garlic. Good. A little bit more salt. I mean, I'll tell you, a little bit goes a long way. Some more pepper. And continue to stir. And your homemade Sunday mashed potatoes is done. And look at my peas and corn over there. Let me add a little bit of butter to that. Piece of butter. Let me stir up. My peas and corn. Y'all, we just gotta get that roast. Look at that. Look at the mashed potato. They whip, baby. So it's wild. Anybody tell you they can't cook a roast in the oven because it don't come out tender? Man, you better tell them come watch this video. Slow cook this baby. Look at that roast. Slow in that gravy. Slow cook this baby on 300, okay? Slow curds good. Slow cook it on 300. I cooked it for, I ain't gonna lie, I cooked this on for five hours, y'all. From two, y'all do the math. When the oven at 2.30, just came out at 7.30. Turned it after two hours of cooking, I flipped it. Just let it cook the rest of the way. Rose, look at this roll. Falling apart. So it's called Sunday night dinner. Look at that. You better ask somebody. Hmm. All right, let's make this plate. Okay, guys. We got the peas and corn coming up off of here. Use a slotted spoon. Stir it up. And get all the juices. We cooking, we making dinner, y'all. Push that to the side. We got the mashed potatoes right here. Turn y'all around, son. Comment below what's for dinner in your house tonight. Like I told y'all, we good now. It's fall, baby. We good now. And come on over to this roast. Man, this roast of gravy. My son said, oh, we ain't had roast in a long time. No, you haven't. Just for picture purposes. How many pieces do you think I should put up here? I ain't doing two. And then, I uh, go ahead and get me a, um this. Got to get some of them carrots and onions. Let me see. Look at that. Who want to eat? Who want to play? We're going to top it off with our favorite Hawaiian roll. These are the ones that they sell at all these. I like these ones, but I was shopping at one place. I like the red ones, the red pack better, but all these sell this blue pack. They have wine rolls, sweet Hawaiian rolls. So we're going to go ahead. Got to stop playing. You know, ain't nobody paying no one roll on no plate. We're going to go ahead and top this plate off 
What two? Two. Where we gonna put it at? We gonna put them at right there. What two? Delicious. Hawaiian rolls. Stop playing. Y'all gonna stop playing. Who want to play? This Sunday night dinner, y'all. Sunday night dinner is back. Who wants some? Tell me you can't cook no roast slow cook in no oven. Man, look at that roast. Look at this food. Like, share, subscribe. Look at this. Them curves. Hit that bell to be notified. Go check out the cooking guy. Go follow me over there on TikTok. On my um, TikTok, follow me on my Facebook Reels, y'all. Um, go follow my sister, New Life Journey. Go check out Soul to See Blogs. But remember, on Mondays, you getting what we cooked on Sunday. And y'all, it is back. It is back. It is fall. The weather is chilly. And your girl can cook Sunday dinners without sweating. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys. I am out into our next Sunday dinner. Yes. I'm always willing to share. Look at that. Pot roast Sunday dinner. That's what I'm talking about.